So Mike, a lot of our customers ask us about residual pressure valves. They're not sure if they need one and what they do. So that's, a, that's another really good question that people don't understand the necessity or why you want to plumb a two pound or 10 pound residual valve into your brake system. So let's use this as the example. Let's say that it's a typical muscle car where the master cylinder is sitting on the firewall. Okay. So the master cylinder will definitely be higher than the front or rear brakes. In this case, we've got a four wheel disc brake system. So we have disc brakes front and disc brakes rear. Because the master cylinder is higher, in theory, you don't need a residual valve whatsoever. Okay. It's because the residual valve helps us not have fluid dump or go back into the master cylinder. So in, that, in this situation, none is needed, but you could plumb two pound residual valves front and rear if you like to. Okay. The difference is when we've got the master cylinder on that same vehicle mounted on the firewall, if the rear was a drum brake, it is a necessity, an imperative, that you run a 10-pound residual valve to the rear drum brakes. Okay. Now, why is that? People understand, gosh, you know, why is Wilwa telling us all the time that we have to have 10 pounds of residual pressure on the rear drum brake system? Well, that's because you've got your drums that have the two shoes, and there's a spring that goes over the wheel cylinder. Correct. That wheel cylinder has springs that are going to compress the wheel cylinder and force the fluid back into the master cylinder. Having 10 pounds of residual pressure doesn't happen. It doesn't allow that to happen. It keeps that thing nice and taut so that when you go to depress the brake pedal again, you have a nice, nice. firm pedal. Yeah, it keeps those, those brake shoes right out there just, just before drag. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So the next question that people have is, I've got a hot rod with a floor mounted master cylinder. Okay. In that case, if it was a four wheel disc system, we have to have a two pound residual valve front and okay. rear. Because what's gonna happen is the calipers are gonna force fluid or dump it back into the master cylinder, especially if you're letting it sit for a week or two in the garage. There's no way to, to stop gravity. Yep, exactly. <laughs> So in that case, if you had drums, you already know that you have to have a 10 pound residual valve. It doesn't matter if it's high or low. Okay. Drum brakes have to have 10 pounds of residual pressure. Gotcha. And you would just plumb a single 10 pound for the rear and a two pound for each disc in the front. Correct. Yeah. And we want them as close to, say the master cylinder outlet, or in this case, out of the proportioning valve as possible, because then it holds all of that fluid in the whole system as far as we can. Well, thanks again for information on those residual pressure valves. I know they can be confusing with the sizes and whatnot, so good information, thank you.